What's up guys, it's Megan. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Today I am a part of a swap that is called the Ears of Cheers swap. It is with amazing, amazing creators, Disney creators who make Disney ears. So unfortunately, my package did not arrive in time, but I will be filming that later on when it does get here. And we all know sometimes it's really, really tough when it comes to sending packages um, come the holidays and things just don't work out sometimes. So instead of sharing the ears that I got specifically for this swap, which I will show in the future, I wanted to show you guys how I made the ears for my recipient who got the ears and you'll have to see who I made them for. I cannot wait to see the reaction, but I made these Grinch ears. So if you guys wanna learn how I made the ears, uh, these Grinch ears that I made for this particular swap, stay tuned and please, please go check out all of the amazing other channels who are involved in this swap. I will leave their information down below, but without further ado, let's go figure out how I made these Grinch ears. <laughs> So to begin, I am taking some fleece fabric. It is 100% cotton. Um, I'm tracing out my headband line and my ear line. So I'm tracing those out and I'm gonna cut them out. And my fabric is folded over, so I'm gonna get two of each. Next, I am taking my sewing line and I am tracing that onto my fabric as well, preparing it to sew. After sewing, I always trim the excess fabric off so that it does not bunch within the ear and you have a really nice clean ear that you're going to flip inside out and then you have your ear. So I didn't share all of my information that I use for my Cricut, um, but I use uh, like a few different files and I end up um, so sorting them by color. So I have my red cuts first and then I do my black cuts and then I do my one white cut. And yeah, the, the, it's really difficult to show all of that just because there's so much content that I could show you. But I showed a little bit of me weeding this here and you guys could see it's really hard to weed uh, this really small print, but I love, love the saying on it. You guys will see that in a little bit. One thing that I have found to be really helpful is taking a lint roller and taking my really small pieces from my vinyl and sticking it onto there, especially if I'm trying to do it a little bit quicker, and they'll stick right on the sticky side and you could just change out the sheet. And I am continuing on to my black vinyl. It didn't show me setting up the cuts, but I always make the cuts the same size as what I need my ears to be. And I also did Grinch because on the back of one of the ears I'm doing Merry Grinchmas. And then I also have the Santa hat on there. And then I have all the times for his schedule of four o'clock, wallow in self pity. And then I am setting up my heat transfer vinyl. Like I said, the back there is Merry Grinchmas. And I have a little Teflon sheet that I put down there just so that I don't burn any of the vinyl and I could press onto the ear and the vinyl even though I have already pressed other vinyl on there. So you can see I'm just continuing to layer, especially on that one uh, Grinch piece. That will have black, red, and white on there as well as the red and the red Mary and the red Miss. <laughs> at the bottom so you could see I had done the white there too and then I am setting up the Grinch faces once again this is going to be the same size as what your ears are going to be I typically make my ears about four inches wide and so I want to have them a little bit smaller than four inches just so that they're not overtaking the entire ear but I do want them to be pretty sizable and so I am just pressing those onto the vinyl or onto the ear and then I am setting up his schedule on the back which says my day and then it goes through his entire this entire day of dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. This one is a little bit trickier just because of the spacing, um, because the, there are so many letters and so many words that I just have to fit onto a small space. So it's just working um, with what I have and trying to fit it all on there and setting it up and pressing down. So 
So now I have finished all of my heat transfer. Of course, that back one says Merry Grinchmas, and then you have the Grinch on the front, and then the Grinch on the front, and this is my day. Four o'clock, wallow in self-pity. 4.30, stare into the abyss. Five o'clock, solve world hunger, tell no one. Those are my favorite. Uh, as, as with most of my other ear tutorials, I take a quarter of inch thick craft foam. I love the household foam from Joann's. That's the one that I've really grown to love. I prefer it. It's very sturdy and but also very malleable. And then I am stuffing my ears with polyfill. Uh, this tutorial I'm actually using a different headband. It was kind of a test out. I normally use a one inch thick headband but this was just a different brand. So um, other headband tutorials or other ear tutorials. I usually have a black headband, but this one is white. And so I am just stuffing my ears. I like my ears to be fluffy. And you could pick up polyfill at Joann's. You could pick them up in big bags or in a huge five pound box. Um, I'm also on this kick of using double-sided tape. I get the double-sided double tape from the Dollar Tree now that they sell it there, which is awesome. Um, I usually would get adhesive from Joann's, but I'm just lining my headband with that. And then I'm placing my a headband fabric on there and then I just glue it on and I fold in the edges and then I'm taking some uh, braided trim and lining the headband with it to cover up my seams and my edges on the headband but also this helps it stay on your head and have your ears not fall off your head, which is very important when you're in the park. So I love to add this to the inside of my ears just to give it a cleaner look, but also to help it stay on your head. And then I always fold in the edges so I don't have any raw edges on the ends of my ears. And then we have our covered headband and we can get on to moving onto the ears. So typically my headbands I've talked about in the past are 37 centimeters. This one was actually 38 centimeters, so we are deviating from the norm. So with 38 centimeters, I divide it in half, which is 19 centimeters, and I leave a little mark right in the center. I will do four centimeters on each side of that dot of where I'm going to place my ears or starting where I'm going to place my ears. And then I'm just closing up my ears with some hot glue, and then I will place it onto those locations of the dots. So there they go. This helps me a lot before I sew my ears. I always hand sew my ears onto the headband. And yeah, now that they're done, I hand sewed them. Takes a while, is boring to watch, so I never include it in my videos. Um, I'm using my Posca paint markers. I don't have yellow uh, vinyl, heat transfer vinyl right now, so I have just been using my Posca paint marker to color in his, his I almost said green, his yellow eyes, and then I'm doing the same thing with the whites of his eyes. Um, you can see where that little hole is left. Um, I use a white Posca paint marker. These are very, very opaque. They are a great brand. I love using them for art, and they work well on fabric. Uh, you could also use fabric markers, but this has just worked for me, so I like to use my Posca paint markers, and I can link them down in the description as well. And next we move on to our bow. So I typically make my bow eight and a half by 11 inches. I'm using this red sequin fabric. I'm sewing it. I do the long ways first with the good sides together, and then I find my seam. And then I'm folding that in half again, and with the seam facing outwards, I'm sewing that hamburger style. I've been saying hot dog and hamburger style in all my videos. And then you flip it inside out, and then you're gonna accordion fold your bow and put some hot glue, some little dollops of hot glue in between the folds just so it stays. And then in addition to the eight and a half by 11 inch piece of fabric, I cut this little extra piece of fabric fabric, <laughs> and I fold the edges in so I have very clean edges. And then that's gonna be wrapped around the center of my bow. And once my bow is ready, it is going to be hot glued onto the center of my bow where I made my initial dot at 19 centimeters. And yeah, that's just gonna be stuck there. I'm gonna put it there. And then I cut some green feather boa that I found on Amazon. I will also link this down below. And I'm just sticking little hair tufts of green Grinch hair on the top. And I just think it makes it wonderful. And here is our final look at our ears. We got our little green tufty Grinch hair and I love it. Um, and the Grinch faces and our sparkly red bow. And then on the back, we have our schedule, of course. We cannot forget our schedule. I'm booked you know, wrestle with my self-loathing, I can't cancel that again, and then Merry Grinchmas. Those are some of my favorite sayings from the Grinch. 
Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I know this is a little bit different, um, but I will be posting my swap video when I get my ears in. Um, so I'm super excited to see what they look like and I'm very blessed and honored to be a part of this amazing group of creators and amazingly talented creative people. Um, it's just an honor. So thank you to Saria for inviting me to be a part of this. I really hope that um, who I got You'll have to watch videos to see who I got because I'm really excited to see the reaction, but I hope that who I got enjoy their ears. I love my Grinchman's ears. I like to read this at the, like during my streams where it says four o'clock, follow in self pity. 4.30, stare into the abyss. Uh, five o'clock, solve world hunger, tell no one. 5.30, jazzercise. <laughs> 6.30, dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. Seven o'clock, wrestle with my self-loathing. I'm booked. I'm booked. So I love the fact that these are on the ears. That's part of my favorite thing of the entire movie from The Grinch along with, that's it, I'm not going. So those are some of my favorite things from The Grinch. I love The Grinch so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please go check out everyone else's videos. I'm so excited to see them, to see what everyone else created and Happy holidays, everyone. Once again, I'm putting out videos every single day for the month of December. So check back tomorrow to see what we have and I will see you then. Bye.